I think we've all known for many, many months that um, the death toll in Gaza was a lot higher than what was being reported. Um, why did we think that? Well, it's because the death toll in Gaza has been sort of hovering at around 35 to now 38, 39,000 um, for maybe five months, like five months, four months, a long time, um, which is about half of this assault, half of this genocide. And so I think a lot of us were rightly thinking there's no way that it's this low if the bombs continue to fall, if the food aid continues to be stymied and those trying to deliver it systemically murdered. Um, and now The Lancet has a study out and they are an independent science journal, um, which is like very interesting that, um, you know, they would put this out, but it's important. That basically estimates and puts the death toll in Gaza at 186,000 people. That is five times the number that has been reported by the Gaza Health Ministry, um, which is obviously uh, run by Hamas, which is why they're undercounting the number. Anyway, Lancet is probably run by Hamas. One of them, they're all run by Hamas, mostly. Um, why is the Lancet uh, saying this? Well, they are basically pointing to the fact that the Gaza Health Ministry's ability to log all of the deaths has been completely uh, like hampered um, because of the amount of death. Um, also, there are tens of thousands of people trapped under rubble that cannot have not been removed, um, that a lot of times these are a lot, a lot of unidentified people. There are a lot of body parts. There are no functioning hospitals left in Gaza. As of this week, no functioning hospitals in Gaza, water, food shortages, full-blown famine. And anyone who would report on the dead, like journalists, have been systemically targeted. So five journalists over this first week of July were killed in the period of 24 hours. 108 journalists in total since this so-called war began. Um, now, when this when when this all started, we were hearing estimates like, "Look, if the pace of murder and and missiles falling uh, continues, we're looking at 40,000 dead." And it was like earth-shattering to me, unconscionable to me that that would happen. At that point, there was maybe like a, a thousand. Maybe one October 7th of Palestinians, which, by the way, if you're doing the October 7th math, because a lot of people, man, they love to do this, this psycho math. But let's do that math. If you were to compare this to the 1200 people killed on October 7th, every two days on October 7th is happening to the people of Gaza every two days since October 7th. 1200 people are being killed, 673 a day. So more than that, it's about, that's about 1,300 people killed in two days. So um, here we are, maybe 186, and that's even uh, the reason that they, the, anyway, they, they talk about that because basically, um, wait, let me throw it up here real quick. Um, they say that in indirect deaths from three to 15 times the number of direct are are about from three to 15 times the number of direct deaths. Applying a conservative estimate of four indirect deaths per one direct death, the 30, 37,396 deaths reported, it's not implausible to estimate that up to 186,000 or even more deaths could be attributed attributable to the current conflict in Gaza. Using the 2022 Gaza Strip population estimate of 2.37 million, this would translate to roughly 7.9% of the total population of the Gaza Strip. Just 8% of the population dead. So we're going to talk about Joe Biden. There are many, many reasons why Joe Biden should drop out of this race and make sure that we can not only defeat Donald Trump and the imminent threat of fascism, but also because his policies and his beholdenness to Netanyahu, a guy who doesn't even want him to be president of the United States, is absolutely unforgivable. And his policies are old. His mind is old. And absolutely, we have been a show and, and we've, I, I, we've all been criticizing Joe Biden um, for eight months now over his handling of Israel in all of this. 
Um, speaking of restoring America on the world stage, stop funding genocide. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.